I'm Rochelle Fletcher, and this is A Voice for the Kingdom. I am so excited. I have such a passion for women, and I want to teach you how to hear God's voice and also how to use your voice for the kingdom in this season. I am so excited to join our voices together as one resounding voice in this season. It's so important that we're in unity, that we come together for the sake of Jesus. And I am, I just cannot wait to share with you all the things to encourage you, to exhort you, to equip you, to be the voice of God in this season, for you to know what your assignment is and what your calling is in this very time. You know, there's different seasons that we go through in life. There's seasons of winter and summer and fall and spring. And we'll be talking about that in, in some of the episodes. We'll also be talking about how to hear God's voice, how to really tune in to God's voice. We'll be talking about how we can hear Him more clearly and confidently to know that that is His voice speaking. You know, for years, my husband and I have pastored churches and we saw the heartache in cities. We saw the many people that were hungry for to know Christ, that were hungry for the goodness of God to be shown to them. We want to help you show the goodness of God in this season so that whatever God has called you to, whatever voice He has given you in this season, you can show the goodness of God and have fruit Right? That is the purpose of being a believer is that we not only know what the fruits of the Spirit are, but that we are able to activate the fruits of the Spirit in this time. And in this time, there's so many people that need to know that you love them, that you care for them. And when you do that, when you care for people, you're showing the goodness of God in the earth. You know, another thing that we did for years after pastoring is we stepped out in faith. We stepped out to do what God called us to do. There's, there's times where we'll walk through seasons and, and we don't understand maybe what's going on in that particular season of our life. Another thing we're gonna learn about is how to pray. You know, in this season where there's so much chaos, there's so much confusion, there's so many voices, there's a lot of noise in our culture. It's so important that we know how to spend time with the Lord and that we understand how to position ourselves, how to go before the Lord and pray. And I love the scripture in Chronicles that says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. You're called to bring healing to your land. You're called to use your voice. This is a perfect season. No better time, no better time than to humble ourselves, to come before the Lord, to use our voices. And we have His name. Look at that in 2 Chronicles 7, 14. It says, if my people who are called by my name, we have His name. That is such an amazing thing that we have His name. He's given us the name that's above every other name, the name of Jesus. And when we call on that name, He shows up. He's already there. He's just waiting on us to call on His name. He wants us to have a closer walk with Him, to have intimacy, to walk with Him, so much so that we recognize His voice. What a wonderful promise in the Word. You've been called to bring hope to those around you. You've been called to bring the goodness of God to those around you. God wants us to bring the solution. God wants us to bring the solution to those around us, to the, the people that we have influence with, whether it's your children, whether it's those at your workplace, or whether it's somebody brand new that you don't even know that you just met. You can show them how much God loves them with a smile, with kindness, with goodness, with His loving nature. His very nature is the thing that He invites us to participate in. And I can't wait to journey with you to show you more about how you can be that voice for the kingdom, how you can speak more confidently knowing, because you know what, when you spend time with the Lord, you gain confidence. You begin to, to hear His voice and you begin to know that it's Him and you step out in obedience. 
It's really about obeying and walking in those places where He's calling you in this very season. And what a better time, no better time than now to, to use your voice. The church has been silent for too long and the kingdom is, is bigger than even the church. The kingdom is business, the church mountain, arts and entertainment, education, government. You may be called to certain sections of the world that needs your voice, that needs to know the truth. And God has prepared you for such a time as this. And you know what's really beautiful? is that Jesus is coming back for the inheritance of the nations. And guess what? We're the bride. He's coming back for a spotless bride. And we're the ones that are, are gonna be able to stand before the Lord and say, here, here's your inheritance, Jesus. This is what we, we worked for. This is what we sought after in our prayers. This, Lord, we did everything that we could to use our voice for your glory and for your kingdom so that your will would be done. And you can come back and say, here, here's the inheritance of the nations. And you may say, Rochelle, I'm just a mother at home raising my children, or I'm a businesswoman. And I, don't, I don't have time to think about the nations. I can barely think about what I have before me every day. Well, I want to encourage you with this, that what you're doing at home right now with your children and with your family or with your business, it's setting up for the inheritance of the nations for Jesus. Because when you impact a life, when you invite a woman over to have coffee and you share the truth of who God is, you're setting that up for Jesus to have the inheritance, for him to have that inheritance. So your voice matters to Jesus. So when you align with who you're created to be, then you're able to find what you're created to do in the earth. And you know what? Then we're able to recognize, more readily recognize, the lies and the schemes of the enemy. Many times the enemy will try to convince us we're not good enough, we're not worthy enough, you're not loved, you're unlovable. And you know what? When we spend time in the presence of God, hearing His voice and seeking His face and humbling ourselves, and repenting, right? It's that scripture where we turn away from the wicked things and we recognize the voice of the enemy. We recognize the voice of God. We're gonna talk about that in the next episode and I can't wait to share that with you. I just wanted to give you some idea of what to expect in these episodes and how you're gonna grow and learn and we're gonna do it together. I love that we can do it together for the sake of the kingdom. I am so excited to walk through this season with you. I just cannot wait. I love women. I love walking alongside with you. I love teaching you, equipping you, exhorting you, giving you the tools and tips that, that maybe that I've learned through some, some years of my life to help you. Because you know what? We partner with the Lord and we all have a part. None of us have the whole piece. Each one of us has a part in the kingdom and that's why your voice matters. Our, my voice matters. Our voices matter to the Lord. And when we submit that to Him, we can join together as one and realize that we all have a part and that we all can learn from one another. And God gave you your voice to influence. God gave you your voice to make a difference to those around you. God gave you your voice so that you could speak truth and life. Many times it's either we speak life or we speak death with our tongue. It's really not anything in between, but we all mess up and we all need a savior and his mercies are new each and every day. We're gonna learn how to use our voice and to share the goodness of God with those around us. My husband and I actually started a nonprofit organization called The Goodness Project. And it actually started out, it was called Goodness Outreach Depot years ago, years ago, almost 18 years ago. And it's really interesting to see how the Lord will use you when you just sacrifice, when you just lay down your life and listen, listen to what He's saying, to what He's calling you to. You know, we started out as pastors. We started out just loving people. And, and I also lead worship. I love using my voice in different ways, whether it's singing, worshiping, speaking, writing, or just talking to someone when I go to the nail salon or talking to someone when I go to the grocery store to show them the goodness of God. We're gonna walk through that very thing of how goodness actually speaks, how goodness has a voice, and how you can show the goodness of God tangibly to those around you. I cannot wait to show you how so many churches and nonprofits are using their voices so creatively, so innovatively to bring the kingdom 
to earth right now. You see, God has already brought his kingdom to earth and he just expects us as his children. He's already given us dominion, right? He created us in his image. He created us from the very beginning to, to be in the garden, to enjoy everything that he created. And then of course, sin crept in. We know that, we know the story all the way back to Adam and Eve. We know what happened, but listen, he still wants the garden. He wants us to cultivate this garden, cultivate and take care of, of humanity, take care of the things that he has put in our hands to steward. What do you have in your hand today? What is it that the Lord has put in your hand to steward? That's what I want you to think about as we begin to walk through this series of A Voice for the Kingdom. Another thing that I'm excited to share with you is, is a book that I was able to contribute with 52 other women called The Invitation to Intimacy with God. You see, God created us to have intimacy with Him. He created us to worship Him and to adore Him and to abide in Him. And so this book is gonna be an incredible tool for you to get a hold of so that, it, that you can just sit with the Lord, you can have your cup of coffee, have coffee with Jesus, and just let Him speak to you. And all these women, all these different women told stories about their life, about the Bible, and how you can have intimacy with the Lord. What an honor that was to be a part of, of that book. And I want to get that to you. So be sure and, and take a look at that. Go to my website, make sure you get that book. It's such a beautiful tool for you to have in your hand or to share with your sister, your mother, your daughter, or anybody that you know, any woman that you know, that you want them to walk closer with Jesus. His plans and His purposes are fulfilled through you, through you. I want you to catch that today. His plans and purposes are fulfilled through you when you know what you're called to do. But you have to know who you are in Him. And so we're gonna just lean in to teach you more about your identity and your authority, the authority that God has given you and you know, the authority that God has given us is so much different than the authority that the world tries to give us. The world tries to tell us that we can keep going higher and, and, and you know, make our way up and you have to work really hard. And yes, I work really hard and I find value in that. I find value, but my work is my worship to the Lord. And so I look to the Lord for my confidence. I look to Him and make sure he's pleased with me. As the scripture says, I work as unto the Lord because I know the inheritance is from him, not from people. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the authority of God. And we're gonna talk about his nature and how we can use our voices in this time to show his love to the world around us. I can't wait to journey with you. It's gonna be such an exciting time to just do, to come together, to use our voices for the kingdom as one resounding voice to echo his name in all the earth. I hope that you'll tune in with me 
in future times, in future episodes, and share this. Share this with your friends. Many people are hungry to know who Jesus is and hungry to know how to use their voice. You're valuable. You're loved. You are so important. You have a voice in the kingdom. I can't wait to share more with you next time. God bless you.